to Banditville, huh? Well done! It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on. Once you've earned it. Commander Roland was talking about. The one who faced Jack and lived. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power core into the shield generator. Good. That ought to last us a day or two. <sighs> Roland was supposed to bring us some intel on how to stop Jack. With him missing, we really need your help. Talk to Private Jessup at the gate. He'll let you enter the city. Jessup! Stand up straight! We got a Vault Hunter headed your way! Blitz! Look alive, everybody! Hyperion Moonshot Blitz! Without that fresh core you brought, those Lunar Mortars would have punched right through the shield! Let me get the gate. Commander Roland never came back from his secret reconnaissance mission. He left very specific orders for this contingency which you can help carry out. Go meet with the town mechanic. Crap. I mean, <clears throat> uh, darn. Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. Sanctuary. Built on the ruins of the Dahl Corporation's finest interplanetary mining ship. Now the last refuge for thieves, murderers, and outcasts. Welcome home. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. Vault Hunter! How good to see you again! Thanks to the thorough drubbing you delivered upon Captain Flint, I was able to leave the Southern Ship. Bullymong. Rubbish name, isn't it? But I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some Bullymong bone piles, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts.
Could I have a refund, please? This gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. Hey, I got a job for you. Hey, Vault Hunter! If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better know how to use elemental weapons, don't you think? I've just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? I'll see you in the firing range. Let's try out the fire weapon first, huh? Fire weapons are extremely effective against flesh, but they're crap at destroying shields. Go to hell, bandits! Now, burn that imperialist bastard like a skag steak! Haha! <laughs> Fire and flesh. Quite a nasty combination. Now, how about a shielded target? This Hyperion fascist thinks he's safe because he's got a shield. Spoilers, he isn't. It's only a matter of time until Jack burns this city to the ground, you resistant scum! Take that, Jack Lover! Yeah, a few good hits from a shock weapon will zap a shield away quicker than you can say buyer's remorse! Hmm, now what else? Ah! Armor! Armored targets like these damned Hyperion robots can take a lot of damage, unless you've got a corrosive weapon. Weapons may only be sold by Hyperion representatives. All non-Hyperion arms dealers will be forcibly relocated to Jackville. See how the acid eats through the metal? I must confess, I love corrosive weapons. Now, let's try out these new slag weapons. Slag! <laughs> now that he's slagged, he should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. To do full damage, you'll want to switch to another weapon once your enemy has been slagged. If you want to purchase any elemental weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood arms dealer. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me?
is happy to do business with a vault hunter. Welcome, customer. May it help you kill many things. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. Anything good? My weapon machines will fix that for you. I'm always happy to take your money. Oh, crap. Is you happy hearing? I heard all of you were robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. New you wired death machines become for me once Roland went missing. Now if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. You'll never take me alive, you robotic son bitch! Wait a minute. Ha! Well hang me upside down from a telephone pole, cover me in honey, and lead me to a slow death at the hands of hungry spider ants. <laughs> You ain't no Hyperion robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? That's like a hero. Now you gonna help us out with this Roland situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Roland told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a floating ass fortress of airborne awesomeness. Ha <laughs> ha! B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, and you'll need this uh, iridium here too. town to plug those two fuel cells into the ignition primers. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last cell from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. He ate one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. Just like with a fork. Bandits of Sanctuary! I hear a new Vault Hunter has arrived in your city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded! Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. Roland said we gotta have an exit strategy just in case he ever disappeared and sell fuel sales and whatnot. Eh, uh, bummer though. He really wanted to meet you. 
Raiders ain't gonna last without some new blood, and given how you shot them bandits up, I'd say you and blood got an extra special relationship. Like cousins taking a bath together. <laughs> oh. What you want? Just buy something and I'll toss in this crap fuel cell. <laughs> Just touching it made two of my fingers rot off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. Don't you hurry back! Make something! My time's valuable! Kinda. <laughs> Thanks for the iridium, chump. a message for you. I got a good feeling about you. 